Hello everybody, uh, this is how the race will be structured. And on kilometer one, you have the opportunity to go fast, to gain as uh, terrain as possible, because then on kilometer two, uh, the trail will be a single track. So as you can see, you cannot uh, take over other runners so easily. Or well, you can do it, but then you'll go down in the deepest snow. After kilometer two, we will get on the road for a while, about another kilometer, so we'll have a piece of asphalt, the road will be closed, everything will be 100% safe, so in this section you can run. You have the opportunity to take off the crampons if you don't want to keep them on, however it's only one kilometer, so it's up to you, you can choose. Uh, use this section also to speed up, to go as fast as possible. Then another section, it's a very compact terrain, uh, a, a road close to traffic where you can put the crampons on or if you want you can still go with that. However, stay super clear because here it can be icy. After this road ends, the single track will start. Here, if you stay on the footprints of other runners and uh, that we prepared, the terrain is good. After a while, it gets a little bit softer for a short section, and uh, so always put your feet in, in the path that is ready. Also here, it's not really the best to take over other runners, but you'll have plenty of time later, so no worries. Uh, the the trail will sharply turn left up to the mountain and you'll get very 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 um, steep so from this section uh, the, the, the hard part of the race will begin last year here it was much easier because there was less snow uh, it was not so difficult this year you'll have a lot of snow crampons must be on from this point on so this is absolutely important yes somebody says that i use the very important word many times but if something is important is important and in a briefing only important things are said okay um here the climb is steep look at the guys marking this is kilometer five so from here on the climb will be very very steep beautiful uh, the, the woods are magic, this is the old uh, Tarvisio forest. Have a gel here, drink, get ready for the climb. Here is the best moment where to choose to take a gel. And up. You will be doing 300 meters up here, so it's a long climb. 300 meters in a couple kilometers. As you go up, the, the ground will be steady, you will not have any problems. Here we are at the end of the woods and here you will get to the ski slopes and on the ski slopes you will find uh, all the terrain prepared by the machinery. So, well, you can also decide if you want not to stay on the terrain prepared by the machinery but it's your choice if you want to be a little bit masochistic you can do like the guys and continue on the uh, trail and not on the prepared slope slope was prepared just for us so this section is close to skiers and it's uh, only only for the race it's a great opportunity to enjoy you'll find these markings s1 markings all over the trail so, look at them and look for them. You'll also find uh, pink paint on the snow. Here we are about kilometer seven. The guys are discussing the differences on the GPS. My GPS says eight kilometers because I was going up and down, but kilometer seven, look at the perspective. The climb is steep, the view is beautiful. Take a moment to turn and look at your back. Here we are at the last wall, the last section. This is super, super hard. We have about 200 meters. This is Mount Mangar. Look how beautiful is Mount Mangart. Yeah, and 
just at the end of the last wall you'll get to the refreshment point and very close to the finish of it. Here you can see Matteo and he's explaining how we we'll have 250 meters of ascent in a very short time. Yeah, have a look also on the snow. <laughs> we, we did some drawings to make you happy and when you're going up. So this is the last section of the wall, super steep, super beautiful also here. Take a deep brief look behind you and see the Austrian Alps are fantastic on the background. And here we are on Lusari. The passage is on the side of the road and yeah, here it's the summit. Finish line for who's doing just a section. You can decide to skip the refreshment point if you stop in order to have a shorter time and then go back to the refreshment point and have your tea, have your coffee, whatever you want. Then there is also a hut for the people that want to stop here. Okay, so after that we are going down from the ski slopes. Ski slopes, it's very important to be cautious to stay on the side of the slope. Keep your left always on the left. Never go in the middle of a ski slope. Look at him, how he's coming down. Tomorrow you'll have also marking, you'll have also flags that will help you to stay uh, on the correct trail, okay? So, uh, after a, a while, you'll find a sharp turn left on the ski slope. Here you see the arrows. If you don't see the arrows, you'll also see a face that is sad because you took the wrong way. No, don't go there, go down. Yeah, otherwise the run will not be 15 kilometers, it will be 25. So I don't think it's a good idea. So from this section on, the trail will go down, 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 down. The terrain is super compact, it's beautiful. You will really enjoy this, this run, super fast. Okay, attention, this trail is open to public. So you'll see also some people, hikers and other people uh, hanging out on the trail. However, when you'll pass, most of people will be already gone. So if you find somebody, you need space, scream space, space, and they will move. And also pay attention of people. Look, look, we are going back to Tarvisio. Here we have a, about three kilometers of trail. It's really, really beautiful. See how it's compact, no risk of um, going down, but you have a slightly risk of slippery, uh, finding slippery floor, uh, ground because it's icy, super icy. Look, so crampons are super important here. Anna is flagging here, the section, last section again on the ski slope, so always, in this case, keep your right side, stay next to the uh, blue flags and you'll get to the finish line. Enjoy the race and have fun.